even though our atmosphere consists of several gases but the main constituent is the nitrogen gas which contributes around 78% of the atmospheric gases so the atmosphere is the largest reservoir of nitrogen of the earth and contains about 10 to the power 15 tons of nitrogen gas but even after presence of such large amounts in the air the nitrogen usually becomes deficient in plants as the content of nitrogen in soil is very poor and the requirement is very high on top of that no plants or animals are able to utilize it directly from the atmosphere due to its inert diatomic form the only group of organisms capable of doing so are a small group of prokaryotes called diazotropes however some plants evolved to compensate for this demerit by performing symbiotic association with the diazotropes that can be best explained with the help of legume rhizobium symbiosis the bacteria rhizobium are symbiotically associated with the root of legumes the rhizobium obtains nutrition from the cells of root and in turn fixes atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia which is used by the plant cells this process of nitrogen fixation is performed in specialized outgrowth of root called root nodules so in this video we are going to see how these associations are produced the soil usually contains thousands of bacteria present in free living forms some of these bacteria might belong to the genera rhizobium which can be identified by rod shaped cells having multiple flagella and being gram negative in nature These bacteria can exist in soil in free living forms but are not able to fix atmospheric nitrogen in that state. During symbiosis it undergoes structural and physiological changes to be able to perform nitrogen fixation. There are also some diazotropes that can perform nitrogen fixation in free living forms without the need to perform symbiosis. These bacteria can either be aerobic or anaerobic. But the majority of soil bacteria are heterotrophs and do not have the ability to fix atmospheric nitrogen. So the process of root formation is initiated when the leguminous plant releases certain chemicals through their roots. These released chemicals may include amino acids, dicarboxylic acids and very low concentration of excreted components called flavonoids. The rhizobium present in the surrounding soil are attracted toward these chemicals and moves by chemotactic movement. These bacteria accumulates near the root hair and attaches to the root hair cell wall. After that some chemicals called nodulation factors or nod factors are released by the bacterial cells which causes the curling of root hair Now these bacteria digest the cell wall of root hair and starts entering inside it However the bacteria never enters the cytoplasm of root hair and this entry is achieved by the invagination of cell membrane of root hair the structure formed due to this invagination is called infection thread through which the bacteria enters inside the root upon entry of bacteria simultaneously another event is taking place in the root cortex region the cells of root cortex specifically the pericycle layer becomes dedifferentiated this leads to the formation of mass of undifferentiated cells called nodule primordia the cells of nodule primordia are the first to receive the bacterial cells the nodule primordia divides to produce an outgrowth called root nodule
the bacteria present inside the root nodule cells undergoes structural and physiological transformations and are now called bacteroids. The bacteroids are irregular shaped, branched, non-flagellated and non-dividing forms of rhizobium. These bacteroids produce an enzyme, nitrogenase, which is responsible for the fixation of dinitrogen into ammonia. But this enzyme is highly sensitive to the presence of oxygen and becomes inactive in its presence. So to avoid this, the bacteria and the plant cells contribute to formation of a pink colored pigment called leg hemoglobin which acts as an oxygen scavenger to remove the excess oxygen from nodule cells. This is the reason why the nodule appears pinkish in color. So this was the process of root nodule formation. I will also be uploading an entire article based on this topic on my website that you can read for more details. Also remember that you can ask your questions, your doubts for video solutions.